Hi, and welcome to the Living in a Prius YouTube channel. Today I wanted to follow up on something that I mentioned in the last video. If you saw that video, one of the things I talked about was how I sold my house, gave away everything that I owned, and ended up moving into my Prius. Now that was two and a half years ago, so it's been a long road and interesting journey. And I will say that when I first made the choice to move into my car, even though I'm a pretty adventurous person, I take risks, but I take calculated risks that I think will lead to a better place in life. Moving into my car was outside of my comfort zone, most definitely. It took a while to figure out how to get used to it. I remember having a conversation with a friend of mine about how I'd go into restaurants and gas stations and other places and wonder if people in there looked at me and knew that I was homeless and living in my car. I mean, it just, it was very uncomfortable, but it made me think about a lot of things and reevaluate and reevaluate a lot of things in my life. And I'm somebody that tends to think a lot about things. You may have heard me mention in past videos that I have an undergraduate degree in philosophy and a master's in sociology. And the last video got me thinking about a couple concepts that I came across that I've come across in life that were incredibly impactful on the way that I think. So I just wanted to share those briefly. First is the concept of social constructs. So if you watch this channel or other channels where people are living in their car or living in an alternative lifestyle, you may think how fascinating it is. You may even think how you might want to try it, but you're uncomfortable with the idea. And at the core of all of these thoughts that we have about our own lives and about the lives we see other people living, are social constructs because the way that we think about the world has been inherited but from what we've been taught by others as you know I'm an AI developer so I asked chat GPT an artificial intelligence program to define a social construct and it gave a good definition a social construct is a concept or idea that is created and maintained by society rather than being inherent in nature. And so what that simply means is there's a lot of the ways that we think and believe because that's how we were taught. And so it's hard to move beyond those ideas, our social construct of the way we see the world, unless we make the constant choice to challenge those social constructs. And that made me think of another idea, which is called first principles thinking. Now, first principles thinking is a way of challenging yourself to really look at yourself in the world around you in a way that you may not have before. So first, let's define first principles thinking. And I went to another AI program, Gemini, created by Google to get this definition. And Gemini says first principle thinking is reasoning from first principles or breaking down complex problems in their most fundamental and undeniable truths. A better way that I found to define it was posted by a fellow computer programmer. And I like the way that he defined first principles when he said, unless you're looking at a law of nature, or if you're religious, unless you're looking at things in terms of religious principles, everything else in life, every way that we think, every idea that we have comes from man-made ideas. So everything that we have in our minds and the ways that we think, unless they are fundamental, like gravity is fundamental, it's a truth of reality, or if you're religious and you've got certain religious principles that you see as fundamental because they're given by God, then Everything else that we know and understand and believe is completely made up by human beings and has been inherited by us as part of our social construct of the way we see things and the way we believe. So where am I going with this on a channel about living in a Prius? Well, I want to challenge you to do what I try to do regularly, which is to think about why you have certain ideas and certain values. Like what is it that you what is it that you find valuable? A lot of people in this country and in this world find material things valuable. They think a nice car, a nice house, and material things are what's important and what makes them important. And these are things that you completely tear down when you do something like giving away all your things or moving into a car, whether it's by choice or whether it's by circumstance. 
And I think it's valuable, regardless of where you are on your path in life, to pause and say, why do I think the way I do? Why do I value the things I do? What, do I, what is it that I want to do with my life? And what's holding me back? What fears do I have? What, what makes me uncomfortable? What makes me not want to do the things that I want to do? And, and occasionally challenge yourself to take that road less traveled, that go down that path that you've always been wanting to go down. You don't have to give away everything you own and move into your car and try a dramatically different lifestyle. But if you watch my channel or others because you're fascinated by people who live alternative lifestyles, then do something small. Take that road trip you've always been thinking about, even if it's just for a weekend to hit the open road and get away and see new things and do new things. So anyway, those are just some random thoughts that I had after my last video. So I will, occasionally I like to post videos on this channel that are more philosophical and, and explore some different thoughts and ideas. And I hope that you find that valuable. If not, you can continue to look forward to the how-to videos that I post about living in a car. And as always, please subscribe. We'd love to have you as a member of this community. And I will see you in the next video.